Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Hey there, history buffs. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today, we're diving deep into the life of a man who's known to have said, we shall be as a city upon a hill. Ever heard of John Winthrop? If not, buckle up, because this is going to be enlightening. Oh, I've heard of him all right. And trust me, you won't be puritan yourself to sleep with this one. Good one, Chuck. I see what you did there, let's dive right in. So, Winthrop was born in 1588 in Edwardstone, Suffolk, England. He hailed from a wealthy landowning and merchant family, which had its roots in the old East Anglian gentry. That's right. His early years were marked by a rigorous education, where he developed his passion for theology. His upbringing played a significant role in shaping the leader he would become. It's kind of like how my mom always told me, don't forget to wash behind your ears. It didn't make sense then, but look at me now, uh, never mind, let's continue. So, John Winthrop was deeply religious. He believed in the idea of a covenant, a mutual agreement with God. He was certain that if the people adhered to the laws of God, they would prosper. Speaking of prospering, have you read his journal, A History of New England? It's not exactly a light beach read, but it provides a detailed account of the Puritan migration to New England and the establishment of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. Exactly. And it's this journal where we see his famous City Upon a Hill vision. He believed that the Massachusetts Bay Colony would serve as an exemplary Christian community to the world. Now Marco, this always puzzled me. With so much land to choose from, why did they choose present-day Boston? Good question, Chuck. So, after initially settling in Charlestown, which had limited fresh water, they decided to relocate across the river. Boston had both a good harbor and an abundance of fresh water. Ah, kind of like choosing the seat next to the snacks at a cinema. Under Winthrop's leadership, the Massachusetts Bay Colony flourished. The population grew as thousands of Puritans migrated, but it wasn't always smooth sailing. That's true. There were issues like the antinomian controversy within Hutchinson. She was a smart woman with her own religious beliefs that clashed with the Puritan orthodoxy. Winthrop and the leadership eventually banished her. And then there was Roger Williams, who advocated for the separation of church and state. Again, a clash, and again, a banishment. Sounds like my last family reunion. Introducing the Game Changer in Energy Boosts, Strike Force Energy. Elevate your drinks without the sugar, without the calories. Whether you're hitting the gym, the office, or the great outdoors, a dash of Strike Force Energy supercharges your drink and you. Dive into StrikeForceEnergy.com to explore. And hey, here's a little spark use code UTSALAX24 at checkout for a cool 20% off. That's UTSALAX24. Strike Force Energy, the power up you've been waiting for. Okay, back to Winthrop. His vision for the colony was significant in shaping the foundational ideas of America. Absolutely. Ideas like self governance, community, and a moral society deeply influenced the founding principles of the U.S. And the idea of American exceptionalism, the belief that America has a unique mission to be a beacon of self governance and freedom can be traced back to Winthrop's city upon a hill vision. That's one heck of a legacy. Indeed. Winthrop passed away in 1649, but his ideals lived on. His commitment to a community-driven, God-centered society laid the foundation for the nation's ethos. It's safe to say, Marco, that without leaders like Winthrop, the America we know today might look a bit different. Well said Chuck. And while some of his ideas might seem dated or stringent today, there's no denying the profound impact he's had on the nation's history. It's been a pleasure diving into John Winthrop's life with you today Marco. Anything else you want to add before we close out? Just that history is filled with characters like Winthrop, complex, multidimensional figures that shape the world we live in. It's our job to learn, critique, and appreciate. Well put. Thanks for tuning in folks. Catch us next time on the History AI Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, rate, and share the podcast.